institutional side, it tends to be Bitcoin or Ethereum in the ETF wrapper or in an offshore, in one of our offshore wrappers, which is helpful for tax considerations and kind of also harkens back, David, to the point that sometimes the vehicle adds a lot of value, um, even setting aside the exposure, um, as well as uh, our multi-strategy solutions, which um, uh, can play a role in their alternatives. I would say are sort of the three um, that resonate there, either because it's a vehicle and then um, a best of breed asset manager relationship that fits into their the way that they're they're managing their portfolios. For wealth managers, um, it tends to be publicly traded funds. So ETFs, we have a publicly traded partnership that's the largest crypto index fund in the world. And there, the, the publicly traded nature um, is very compatible with how they run their practice. They like the index fund because, you know, oftentimes the way that they want to get exposure to a space is through a diversified a portfolio rather than sort of trying to pick a winner. For individuals, I would say it's, it's sort of similar. The publicly traded funds are the only um, are the only funds that are available to non-accredited investors. Those are public funds with public reporting, and uh, they're you know our, our Bitcoin ETF and our our index fund are the two most popular.